YouTube, it's your girl Aaliyah. Welcome to Love Locks and Other Stuff. I am here today because I am getting my hair done um, from the monstrosity that I caused. Remember I told you guys that I went ahead and colored my hair um, and I wasn't supposed to? So today is the day that my wonderful loctician is going to fix my hair. As you see, I got my hat on, I got my jacket on. I hate being cold and it was like 46 degrees outside. It's supposed to warm up, but not that warm. I'm here in San Antonio. I look a little rough because it's early in the morning and I barely had sleep. So I got bags under my eyes and everything, but just excuse that. Anyway, so here's my hair. It's not super horrible. But we'll see what she's going to say about how bad it is. Of course, you know I got some like I washed it last night because like I told you guys, I wasn't allowed to wash my hair until um, I came back. So I washed it last night so that it would be freshly washed for today. And um, we're going to see what she can do to fix it. Um, what I did notice, I want to tell you guys this much. What I did notice is that... Um, my hair, some of them, even though I colored it, even though it hurt it, it may have helped some of them because a lot of them started to lock. Um, I started to get buds, um, on a lot of my locks. Um, I know you see a lot of the ends still loose, but right above that, it's locking. That's shocking, right? I know, I know, um, it's craziness, but it's the truth i don't know what to tell you uh, i'm not making this stuff up but um i'm super happy about that um my one baby over here that was almost completely loose where is it well it pretty much is completely loose it's hard to see because of the lighting sorry guys but um that's not it even though that looks like it that's not it here it goes. It's kind of intertwined with this one. Even though that looks like one, it's actually not. It's two separate locks. This is just loose hair. So it looks like it's combined with the other one, but it's actually not. They're two separate locks. Here we go. Now, some of them, she is going to have to put a little TLC in. Usually it takes me about um, two hours for a retie. I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit longer. She has me booked for all day. So from 9.30 to 5.30. Yikes. It's a little scary because remember I told you guys she said it's like a mini install. I'm hoping that's not the case because last time she saw it was when I first got it done. Literally, she I first got it done and she didn't see it in person. I had sent pictures of what it looked like and it was wet. When it was wet, because I had just colored it, it looked much worse than what it really was. You couldn't see my locks. It looked like my whole head had come loose. But as you can see, it hasn't. I do have bunching, um, but my whole head hadn't come loose. Um, these, like, for example, I don't know if you can see this one. Like, the locks are still locked, but I have the bunching at the end, um, as you can see. But then, which is the crazy part, I have the bulb at the end. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, it's kind of hard because I'm holding, I'm using my phone right now, so, and I can only hold it with one hand. Hmm, I just lost the lock. Well, it's hard for me to show you guys, but either way, um, I just wanted to show you the before so I can show you the after and you guys can be amazed because she is amazing. Her name is Kay Hudson and she works here at Bougie Locks in, um, San Antonio shirts area. Um, like I told you guys before, she's not the one who started my locks, but she is the one who maintains them, the one who started my locks. She's also amazing, but I had left to Atlanta for a couple of months and came back. And so when I came back, um, she didn't have any open slots. So I found um, Miss Danita, um, and I have 
been extremely happy with her um, since I've been back. My hair has been growing exponentially. Shrinkage is real. Let me just say that because I told you guys, as you know, I started with an inch and a half um, in the back and two inches in the front. And look. And she measured it last time. And um, we were about four and a half to five inches. So that should tell you guys something. And the back of my hair, like I told you guys last time when I colored it, it didn't have much in the, of an effect. It took the color well, but it didn't um, have a huge effect. Like the back of my hair kept up well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys this, but I just want you guys to take a look at the back. I'm going to try to move the phone around to the back of my head so you guys can see the back of my hair um, and see if you can tell. But the back of my hair took really well. So I don't know if you were able to see that. Oh, by the way, please pay no attention to the fact that I have on two different gauges. I recently um, slept on my gauge. Um, I'm at a 5 eighth, um, and I know most of you guys don't know what that means, but um, it's a bigger size. And I pinched this while I was asleep. I should have taken them out, but I didn't. Um, and so I pinched it while I was asleep, so when I woke up, my whole logo was swollen. So I had to take the gauge out. And I kept it out for a couple of days so the swelling can go down because it was in a lot of pain. And so when the swelling went down, my whole shrink a bit. Um, it shrank down one size. So this is a 9 16, which is one size under my 5 8. Um, and so that's why I have on two different ones. But um, before you know it, I'm going to go back up to my 5 8 and then up to 11 16 um, or 11 17. It's either 11 16 or 11 17, something like that. And then I'm going to change out all of these. For you guys who are wondering, somebody asked me about bendies. And I wasn't sure what bendies were, so I looked it up. And apparently bendies are like the stick-on things like I have on my head. But these are not stick-ons. This is um, this is a surface piercing. As you can see, it has a bar that goes through my head. And this one is an implant. Um, just like the one that I have right here. And as you know, I do, it's all pearl. Just like my septum ring. It's pearl. Um, and then my nose ring, but that's not really pearl. Um, I didn't find a cute pearl one that I like, so. And I was going to do a hoop, but as you guys can see, my nose is a bit wide for that. So it would probably be pinching and holding on and be like, let me go, let me go, let me go. So, um. Probably not the best idea, right? No. Anyway, um, I'm going to come back after she finishes working her magic on my head. Oh my God, this color is so bomb though. Like, you don't, you guys don't know, this color is so bomb. Like, I'm in love with the color. I can't sing. I know that. Don't judge me, okay? I, I never professed to be a singer. Actress, yes. Singer, no. Famous actress, no. Well, did some acting in high school, elementary school. But that, look, okay. So that's neither here nor there. We were talking about my hair, right? Right. Okay. So, um, I am in love with this color. I have been coloring my hair for the past three, four years. And, um, well, actually, no, about six years. Um, I have been blonde. Auburn burgundy. I think I told you this guy's last video. Oh, I did want to tell you something that I learned um, I'm being long-winded and I apologize because this is gonna be uh, Another part of the video because I'm gonna come back when my hair is done. So it's gonna be extra long So please excuse that but I wanted to tell you guys something that I learned so um, If you guys notice the title of my other videos when I very first started it said um, short fine thin hair so only part of that is true. My hair was short, my hair was fine, but it was not thin. I had always equated fine and thin in the same category, but it is not. So my hair, according to my loctician and um, my consultant and my when I had traditional locks, my other loctician, 
um, who you also saw in the other video who put the color in my hair. Um, I have very fine hair, but it is not thin. Um, you don't ever see scalpiness. Even when I first got my um, my traditional locks and my sister locks installed, you never saw scalpiness. I have an average thickness of hair. It's not super thick now, um, but I have an average thickness per square inch of hair, so it's not thin. You don't see any scalpiness. So I needed to make that correction. Um, they just inform me that the thinness is based on the amount of hairs you have per square inch and I have an average amount so my hair I need to go back and correct those because my hair is very fine um, and it is um, short but it is not thin um, so those of you guys who are thinking along, along the same wavelength as me that fine and thin run in the same boat that's not necessarily true um, I learned that and the funny thing is, I only learned that like a month ago. And I meant to put that on the last video, but I didn't. Um, so, uh, coarse hair does also does not equal thick hair. Um, I had always equated the same because my daughter's hair is like, I call it triple thick. She has a whole, 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 whole lot of hair. Like, literally, I got cramps in my hands when I used to braid her hair. She's 18 now, so I don't have to do her hair anymore, but trying to convince her to get sister locks but she's getting ready to go into the military she graduates in three and a half months so that's another stressor but anyway um her hair was so thick and i had always equated it to being coarse but apparently um her hair is very thick but it is not coarse like um her hair is soft enough like um she has that super density but it is uh, soft enough that she can comb through her hair um, You get it? So she's not super coarse um, It's more coarse than mine. This is true, but it's not super coarse So that's just a little bit of information for you guys um, And I told you I'll come back to you when my hair is done so you can see the finished product um, If you guys have any questions, let me know um, I'll be back shortly Peace Hey guys, so it's Aaliyah. I'm coming at you with another video. Um, I'm sitting in my car right now because I'm getting ready to run to the store really quick. Um, but this is a continuation. I didn't get a chance to get back with you guys the other day um, because it actually ended up being a very, very long day. Um, usually my reties take about two hours, two and a half at most. And this time I was there about six, six and a half hours. Um, not as long as it took for my initial install, but it was still a very long day. Um, so at the end of the day, again, I'm going to preach to you guys. The moral of the story is please listen to your consultant. They know what they're saying. But I just want to say that my consultant is thebomb.com. Can you see this like before i showed you guys you couldn't see my scalp it looked like my hair was coming out and my grid is on point um she just worked everything out my locks she had worked them all the way down to the ends as you can see um basically now it's like i have a head full of baby locks um i hit one year on April 18th and um, it's almost like I'm starting all over just because of what I had done um, remember I showed you guys that I had one that was completely coming out well no more it's not there everything is intact everything is good to go the ends of my hair that were white those are still a little messed up but that's to be expected but at the end of the day my hair overall looks freaking amazing um i could not believe that she was able to get my hair looking like this again like i am so happy with what she did so basically what she ended up having to do um was take a, a pin or something like that whatever tool she had but it wasn't the regular sister lock tool at first she used that to tighten of course but um she had to go in and pull my locks down and once she pulled it down 
like them all the way down to as far as they can go at the ends as you can see like I said some of them are still loose at the ends but that's to be expected they were loose at the ends anyway but even the ones that had sealed are unsealed um, because of my choice to color um, my buds some of my buds had fallen off some didn't um, I still have a couple hold on let me see if I can pull this one out you know it's funny because at the time whenever you want to show something it doesn't want to do it like your hair never wants to act right right craziness but yeah see I still have some buds and the back of my hair is still freaking amazing like she said that held up so well um, which was the shock that the back of my hair actually held up so freaking well um, you can't see the actual length of my hair again shrinkage is a real thing it's a real thing um, again, I know I can't sing. Please don't hold that against me. Please don't unsubscribe from me just because I can't sing. Because I know I can't. Okay. But anyway, um, so she after she went down and pulled each one down, she showed me just how much slippage there actually was. Because I was looking at it like, oh, it's not so bad. Um, and she said it wasn't as bad as she expected. She thought my whole head had come out. But she said um, she wished in a way that it had because it would have been easier to do because then it would have just been like installing locks but instead she had to pull each one down and it took time for her to grab each lock and go in and pull 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 and then once she did she was able to put three to four fingers inside of the area the of open hair like loose hair so it was like um she had for one of them she was able to get 26 rotations now as you guys know when you go back for a retight usually you could get like four about four rotations maybe five she could get 26 rotations that's how bad i messed up my hair okay um so never again will i do it um it was very costly and uh, it was very time consuming and I'm not mad at the cost because um, it could have been more you know um, according to other people uh, they would have paid a whole lot more so I am so grateful for what she has done she has healing hands my hair is amazing um, she did say that you know I didn't um, damage my hair so that was great um, that my grid stayed intact and that everything actually turned out for the most part other than the slippage that everything actually turned out quite well so I'm not really mad um, like I said as you know before I love the color love 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 my color but um, everything for the most part turned out quite well except for all the slippage so um, and you guys know like I was telling you earlier on in the video that um, I learned a lesson about thickness density thin hair like oh my gosh it's so crazy like the things that you learn over time when you thought you knew something like I watch all these videos on YouTube and let me tell you I follow a lot of people um, and because I'm by no means an expert I've only had sister locks for um, not even 11 months well whatever the, March 18th is today 16th so on Sunday will be 11 months um, but I did have traditional locks um, for seven years before this so um, but I'm not an expert by any means and the things that you learn it's crazy I will tell you guys this much um, in reference to getting sister locks everything like there's so many pros um, to getting sister locks, but there are some cons. I'm not going to get into those right now. I'm going to do another video in reference to the cons that there are of having sister locks um, and the pros um, because I think everybody should be informed. Like, you hear a lot of videos where everybody's like, oh, it's the best decision I've ever made. I um, am so happy I did it. Um, why didn't I do this sooner? And that's all true. But there's also um, the flip side to that. And sister locks, you know, um, aren't for everyone. 
I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say, oh, these people should do it and everybody should do it. Like, I think it's a great hair decision. I've done it. I love my hair decision. I had traditional locks, but sister locks honestly aren't for everyone. Um, but I'll get into that again, like I said, next video. But until such time, you guys, I will talk to you later. Um, don't forget to like it subscribe down below and if you have any comments or any questions um, let me know leave it in the comments and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, when I check out the uh, questions or anything or the comments um, but until such time come back to love locks and other stuff make sure you hit that bell so you know when I upload a video all right peace guys